today's video. And in today's video, I'll be doing one of those um, candidate comparisons between Donald Trump and R Mitt Romney. I'm going to try to do this really quickly. Starting off from the bottom, he goes to Trump lean. He's better for Hispanic and Latino voters and better for white rural voters. Arizona, I'm going to give to Romney lean. I see Trump being doing well enough with Hispanic and Latino voters, but Romney doing substantially better um, with traditional conservatives in the suburbs. Colorado goes to Trump lean. Yes, Romney would probably do better in Denver and in, their suburb in Denver suburbs, but... At the end of the day, Trump's much better for white rural voters, which will probably help him enough, um, especially if Romney struggles to turn off his base. In Mexico, Trump is much stronger for Hispanic Latino voters and much stronger for oil workers. Texas, Romney will get much less rural turnout um, and do much, and Trump's very, very strong for Hispanic Latino voters in Texas, or at least he was in 2020. Um, so I'm going to give this to him likely. Romney, though, does have enough suburban strength, I think, to maybe make it lean. Florida, it's kind of hard to tell. Trump did carry it by such a large margin, though. He's very, he's, he did well enough in the suburbs and well enough to the white voters, and he did very well with Hispanic and Latino voters. I think Romney would struggle with Hispanic and Latino voters, but do pretty well with older white voters and with suburbanites. Um, in Georgia, Trump gets it lean. He's just so much better for white rural voters. Similar thing in North Carolina. Virginia, I'm going to give it to Trump only tilt, though. I think that Romney is better for, um, I think that Romney's better for Virginia's rurals than um, he would be probably for Georgia and North Carolina. I think that a lot of these are, I, I think that it's it's been a fairly conservative state. It shifted to the left under Obama and then voted for Biden by a relatively large margin of victory. I think that a more traditional Republican like Romney will probably do better. He's also probably going to do well enough in the D.C. suburbs. New, or Nebraska second. Romney gets it lean. Honestly, maybe likely. He's much better in um white majority cities. And he's or obviously not the number partic are particularly strong. But I think Romney would probably do better. And he's also much better for suburbanites. Trump gets Iowa likely. He's gonna do much better with Obama to Trump voters, and he's also gonna do much better with um white rural voters. Minnesota Trump gets lean. He's gonna do very well with rural voters and very well um with the white working class. So I do see Romney doing well enough in Minneapolis and in its suburbs. Wisconsin, Trump gets likely. He's going to do much better with white rural voters um, and much better with the white working class. Similar thing in Michigan, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. Um, Nebraska, second. He's going to do very, very well. I or I think he has much more populist appeal. I think a established Ontarian traditional um, like Romney wouldn't do very, very, wouldn't do very well there. Maine at large, I'm going to give it to Trump too. I think he's well, do I think he do well enough with Hispanic or with um, white rural college educated voters. And I think he's going to do well enough in, or I think he would do well enough in Maine. Second, New Hampshire, though, I'm going to give to Romney. I think a more traditional conservative like him would probably win over the white rural college educated vote. Um, though I do think that Trump isn't a terrible candidate. I think a, um, I think a more traditional conservative would definitely do better in New Hampshire, or, or probably at least. Um, obviously it depends on the candidates, but in this scenario, I would say probably Romney. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like below. Stay tuned for my next video. Um, subscribe to my channel. Sub subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please comment your suggestions down below. Um, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.